What is up, fellas? Today we are going to be playing some Sky Wars. Because, um, Bed Wars has been kind of hard to record. Because if I lose a game, I'll get really angry and I'll keep playing until I win. And usually, oh god, there's something. Usually I don't win for a while. So I just get end up getting really angry. And I just start, like, not commentating and getting super bitter and stuff. I don't want to upload that to YouTube. Because that not just is that boring, but also it makes me look bad. <laughs> In all honesty, I'm just going to be completely front up. It makes me look bad. It makes me look really bad. And I don't like that. I don't want to make myself look like some angry dude. Who, every time he uh, gets final killed in Bed Wars, just starts grumbling. And like, screaming. And whatever. I don't actually scream, but you know, I'll just be like, Oh my god, how did he kill me? How how did this, that, and all that other stuff happen? And it's because I'm just not paying attention. Oh god. Uh, speaking of not paying attention. So, instead of uploading that, I'm going to play something that I know. I'll be able to have at least a somewhat fun time playing, except for the snowballs, of course. Alrighty, let's uh, get out here. We're just looking for... Really, whatever. I mean, mid's infested, so maybe I can sneak up on this guy. Ah! Ah! Ooh! That was scary. Ah! Bite me! Ah! I'm getting real scared. <laughs> this guy. He's really gonna do this. You think you're good at this game because you know how to use a fishing rod. That's what's so funny. See, imagine me doing that but the whole game. Because, like, fishing rod abuse really aggravates me, but I'm not gonna just yell about it the whole ass game. But something like that really just makes me miffed, dog. Uh, oh, I'm probably gonna die right now. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Whee! GG. So basically, imagine me complaining about how much I hate fishing rods and just like knockback spam as a whole. But for the whole game, that's me playing Bed Wars, I'd say. Turns out I don't know how to place blocks. That guy did not know how to play the game. I don't have a chest plate. What? Oh, all this stuff's over here. This guy looks like he knows how to play the game, so this is up. Kind of. Did he just. Oh, okay. I thought he just jumped. Any good in here? No. Three players left. That guy. That guy. Alright. I have control of mid for what's that worth? Uh, for what's that worth? Really? Like, I can't speak even? See, like that. I mean, I try and use the rod, but the thing is, I have barely a, a But the thing is, I have barely a clue how to. So it just ends up so being some pathetic display where I, like, hit him with a rod once, and then I die. Let's go for the riskier option of going this way. Uh, I don't want to get knocked off. Sword? No. A bunch of gaps, though. Yes. This guy, uh, what's going on? That guy just wanted that, that box, chest, whatever. Oh, well, I got a newsflash for you, pal. There's nothing in there. At least nothing exciting. Uh, swiper, no swiping. Well, I just got myself a better weapon in every conceivable way. Oh, no, that was a bad idea. Can I save myself? No. There's one thing I find true about Sky Wars. Most of the time I end up dying because of mistakes I have made and not because I ha end up with, like, a bad team. And I hate that's why I hate being reliant on my team because if I make mistakes myself, like, not shooting this guy off, then, oh, he lived. What a trooper. 
If I make mistakes myself, it's a lot easier not to get mad and instead take it as a learning experience. Whereas if I end up losing because I have a team that refuses to make a bed defense while or or I'm out killing beds, killing, destroying beds, then it, it, I end up getting killed and my bed gets lost. This guy's going to destroy me. Uh, oh my god, uh, this is a good, this would be a good time to know how to rod. Rodney Power, uh, okay, I'm just gonna look this guy stupid out. I really don't wanna die. Lava and gaps. Perfecto. That guy's coming for me next. Little does he know that I have the power of the Energix kit. Oh, uh, oh, that was close. Let's see if I can do a fancy trick. Whoop. Whenever I end up making mistakes that are my fault instead of just raging because well, my team's not here to help me out in, whenever I'm defending the bed ah, that was dumb of me this is why I hate snowballs and eggs so like I was saying whenever my team's not there to help me defend this but defend from this battalion of green people coming to destroy our bed or whenever I'm out destroying other people's beds and everybody's just on the generator soaking stuff up and whenever that's happening it just gets kind of aggravating because they could be actually doing something productive but instead they're all mopping up the generator usually just to get like iron pants first and whenever someone's sitting on the generator so they can upgrade bed defense I respect that Oh my god, I'm, I'm got, yeah, I hate snowballs and eggs because that situation. There. I know I got bowed off, but there was someone coming at me with snowballs and eggs, too. And, I mean, really, it just gets in the way of a potentially good game. This would probably be a vastly more fun if it wasn't for snowballs and eggs. That's besides the point. Ah! Ah! Whoa. That was really sad. And I mean, I find myself having lots, I'd say probably more fun playing Bed Wars because I'm better at Bed Wars, but at the same time, I also find myself getting a lot angrier whenever I don't do better. Maybe it's because the status quo for Sky Wars is get a few kills and then die <laughs> to some guy with the, uh, snowballs, whereas the status quo for Bed Wars is go around destroying beds and then probably more than likely win the game. And then every now and then you end up with a team that has no clue what they're doing, no one's there. And you end up losing. Or at least that's how it works in my case. And that's not too fun. I mean, you may say that it's not my fault. It's my fault for blaming my team and that, like, I shouldn't have to be carried by, Oh, that was not a good idea. Ah! That was not also a good, that was, running from that guy was also not that good of an idea, but it's really whatever. Um... Maybe, I, I'd say probably also a reason why I don't get so mad is because Sky Wars has a lot more, I guess you could say, RNG in it. Random number generation, just random stuff. It's gamers speak for random stuff occurring. And not random stuff occurring, I mean that's for saved for uh, Lucky Sky Wars, but it's random what items you'll get, it's random what armor you'll get, what blocks you'll end up with if you end up with any potions. The only thing you could really... Uh... The only thing you can really control is what case you have. Look at that! Like, that that's clearly some random generation right there. Three diamond pickaxes aligned diagonally. That seems like, or maybe it was designed to just to taunt me. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, nice, I am a pro gamer man, mine man. Efficiency three diamond pick. You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's go. Let's just put this to use. What's third party this shiz? Yo, I, that guy just like completely did. You really gonna steal that guy's kill, man? Oh, we still, we killed him. The only problem with Sky Wars is that dying really heavily interrupts my train of thought a lot more than it does in Bed Wars. And that's gets kind of hard, especially because whenever I play Sky Wars, I do more com commentary oriented videos. Whereas, oh Jesus. When I do Bed Wars, I do more gameplay oriented videos. And what I mean by commentary is commentary about stuff that's outside of the game. Uh, uh, no, I, I just gotta get one more hit. <sighs> Thank God, that was terrifying. You really gonna do this to me? I'm just gonna jump. And because of how hard it is for me to maintain a train of thought, 
oddly enough, in why well, I don't even know why I'm trying to maintain a train of thought in Sky Wars. I should probably say Bed Wars for the commentary. But Bed Wars is a lot easier to make commentary on the game itself. Whereas in Sky Wars, it's way easier to just talk. Which really sucks because Sky Wars games can last like a minute sometimes. If everybody's got AIDS. But with Bed Wars games, they can last up to like 40 minutes. So, I mean, clearly one's better suited to host long form dis discussions. I guess you could call them discussions. No, not exactly. Yes, run, little child. That's my loot. And pearls. Woohoo, pearls. Whee! So it just gets. Ah, uh, this guy's really gonna chase after me. No! And it's really inconvenient for me because I'm trying to remember this one topic that I was actually having fun discussing with the fans. I guess not, it wasn't exactly a discussion, but you know. And I end up dying and my train of thought gets wrecked. And I'm just trying my best to remember this. I might. Sometimes I don't. So I'll be talking about something. I die. Next game, I'm just... It's like I completely forgot about it. And it's because, well, I did. It's not even like I completely forgot about it. I just did. I'm going to get wrecked by this guy, but who cares? It's Sky Wars! And my big problem is what happens is I'll be discussing something really cool, really interesting, and then I die, and then I just, it's all been wiped from my memory, and that really makes me mad. But there, I guess there's downsides to both of them, because the downside with Bed Wars is I just get mad, whereas the downside to Sky Wars is I get mad because I forgot what I was talking about. I don't, I don't know which one is better to play. I can tell you one thing, though. Whenever I play Bed Wars, I get so bitter. It's just so undeniably like, imagine 95% dark chocolate. Something not even I would eat. I mean, really, really, this is gross stuff. That was not a pearl. <laughs> okay, well, I just accidentally pulled a cord, and now I can't hear anything because Minecraft has really bad audio problems whenever it comes to that kind of stuff. You unplug one kind of audio thing, and next thing you know, you can't hear for the rest of your life unless you want to close the game. And I don't feel like closing the game. I'd rather just talk. This might put me at a disadvantage, though. I really don't know. This is probably my favorite little trick here. You just jump. Whee! All the way into mid. No building required. Another big problem I'd see is that in Bed Wars, I'm a lot more skilled, at least for the most part. So whenever it comes to recording, it's a lot easier to record that and get interesting footage that I know people would want to watch, or at least... You really thought! You thought you had it on me! You thought... Uh, wait. Anyway, as I was saying, on one side, I might end up recording something that I know people would like watching, but on the other side, I might end up recording something that no one would want to watch, because it's just me baby raging at a block game. And that's a pretty interesting dichotomy to have, especially whenever it comes to something that I'd say I'm skilled at, because it's all dependent on what team I get. And I can't play, like, solo Bed Wars, because solo Bed Wars has no team. Part of Bed Wars is depending on your team. I might be able to do duos, but I'd be nowhere near successful, because I rely on a team that's actually good at defending a bed, and if you have one person defending a bed, it's going to be kind of hard. And then again, you could say on the other side that you're only going to have to defend from at max two people. Whereas in 4v4s, you could have one a one versus four. That's something that could legitimately happen if you're against if you're against a team of like wild men. <laughs> wild men. All right. So uh, can I? Sorry, dude. Like, I don't want to have to do it to you, but that's just how it is sometimes. And then if I'm super lucky, I get a game like this, where I end up with a bunch of kills, and I'm at mid, I got control of mid, this guy's not taking hits, what is going on, why aren't you taking damage, I'm going to flee, uh, th lag pixel perhaps, Simon fix your game, I'm gonna leave on that stim, okay, can I fight you now, yes, okay. If I'm lucky, I end up with a game like this, where everybody I'm up against is very incompetent, and I still end up, I have the time to organize my whole inventory. This is the time most people would come up, 
sneak behind me, stab me in the back, twist the blade, all that fun stuff. This guy. <laughs> I'm so evil. That is that is funny. That's real funny. Excuse me? What is, it, what is going on over there? Gosh. He's speed bridging. Fire the volleys. Hit him. I don't. I have terrible aim. Okay. That guy is going to destroy me. I can already tell. He's coming for me. He's got a vengeance. I don't even know what I did to him, but I did something. I know what I did. I killed his friend, perhaps? I don't know. Do I have pearls? Nah, I do not. But they're refilling, so... Woohoo! Guess who just got control of mid, and guess who does not? The answer is me. Yo, I'm about to blow mid up, actually. Straight up. There's no pearls? I, I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna commit a terror attack on mid. Straight up. Looks like mid's gonna have to go through a terror attack. Give me a second. Let me just. Skeleton, you better look out because this this might not end well. In fact, it won't end well. At least for one of us. All right. Demolition is go. I don't even know where I'm where, where. Demolished mid. That was quite entertaining. That's a pearl. There's that guy. Those two guys are going to collide, I think. There's five minutes remaining. I, everybody's too, too afraid to approach me because I'm decked out beyond belief. What a sad modern world we live in. Um... They're going to get more armor than me. I just realized that. Because I blew up mid. I committed a terror attack on middle. And therefore... Um... The only good chests are back there. With that guy. So... Beep. Bop. Boop. 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 boop pow. Is building over to... No, he's got a rod. He's got a knockback rod. Nah, dude. Just take the damage. Take the damage. You really think you can hide there? Because you can. That is true. You can't hide there, in fact. You really gonna be all cheeky like that? You think you got me? You think you got me, huh, son? Son? Yeah, gonna make this a little safe. This guy... You know what, in fact, I'm just gonna put some water here. Like, why, not, why didn't I think of that before? What an idea. Just put some water down. Water. Water here. And... Eat a gapple. Yo, what? I forgot about the cardinal rule. Remember people who have knockback rods. I for, uh, yeah. Knockback is my least favorite aspect of Skywars, honestly. If it wasn't for the fact that knockback was in Minecraft, I would play Skywars all of the time. But you know, they just gotta throw some eggs there, some snowballs here, fishing rods, bow and arrows, swords. I'm not so radical about knockback that I hate swords, but you know, it's like, there's this game based around third party and people, God. There's this game based around the sky, and clearly it makes sense to add knockback things that'll knock you out of the sky. But I feel like the game would be so much more faster paced if it wasn't for knockback and knockback spam. I think that if there weren't eggs, snowballs, fishing rods, and bows, then it would be a lot quicker. Or maybe reserve eggs, snowballs, fishing rods, and bows for mid. Doing that would hasten the game and also make it a lot more interesting. You don't have enough armor. What was that? I don't know if I didn't have enough armor or what. But yeah, what I was talking about. I think that limiting all items that can deal long range knockback to mid would substantially hasten the game and make it more interesting to watch and to play. 
because it creates the new dynamic. Instead of the dynamic being, you have to stay at your island because you're afraid of getting knocked off by some dude with a fishing rod, some dude with snowball, some dude, some dude with egg, bow, all that. It would be get to mid so you can knock people who stayed at their islands off with egg, snowball, fishing rod, uh, other stuff. Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. Come to the top of this mountain. Uh, drop down, drop, drop some, drop some lava down this mountain. Can I like make it like this? There we go, lava time. All right, I just wanted to do that because I thought it would be kind of interesting to watch. A little lava, a little volcano. Anyway, uh. Whee! I love water in Minecraft. Minecraft water is real versatile. That is a fact. This guy really wants to shoot at me, doesn't he? You must know I'm a YouTuber. 29 subscribers. Yo, what's up, dude? I don't appreciate your attitude, man. That's right. Thank you, guys. Uh, never mind. Screw all of you. Actually, I'm I'm ditching all every single one of you guys. You're all terrible. All of you. Seriously, staying at your island, spamming bows at a poor guy trying to kill me. I would have died too. But no, no fun allowed. This is Minecraft. Is this guy? Am I evil for doing this? No, I should have should have I should have potted up first. I did mean to, but you know I'm just kind of dumb. Anyway, uh, I sure hope that I can actually stop playing by now. I think I, I think I actually will. I think this will be my last game, actually, because I have nothing to talk about. It's just gonna just be a kill compilation at this point. Whoa! Oh, that, was, that sure was scary. Thanks for the pants. Whoa! Go away! Go away! Go away! What? What? Okay, that wasn't my last game. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that be. That, that's like a one, once in a lifetime thing to happen. Have two people invade your island. I would have totally destroyed them if I had just had my sword equipped too. That was sad. I was so dumbfounded that I couldn't. Couldn't what? Oh. Fight me! What is going on? Why is everybody in here trying to like get in my pants? All right, I've quelled the commotion. Everything's all right. Got another energix pot. Got some region. I got all the clout necessary to destroy this whole game. Pearls. Whoa! No! God! That was kind of badass. <laughs> Marloin's wasting his pearls. Oh, I was wasting my pearls. That's nice. Pickaxe. Lava. Never mind. It was all worth it. I just need a flint and steel. I don't think it was dropped flint and steel, but whatever. It's all good. In the hood. Let me just do one of these. Come around here. Whoa! No! No! I'm not just gonna let you do that. I'm not gonna let you be cute and get away with it. Whoa! No! No! I'm gonna die. Second place! First killer! Alright. That's it. I had a fun time. I hope you guys did as well. I'll see you all next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. It'll give me the motivation to make more of these. Yada, 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 yada. Download my texture pack. Bye.